tiny. Let's see if we are streaming. Anybody? Jacob doesn't know how to Facebook. Okay, let's see. I understand that. You see it? Okay, okay. Can you see how Kylie say some things and let's see if we have an echo this time. Hello, my name is Kylie the Dream. Echo? Did you hear the applause? Okay, well, yes. Um, two peanuts walked into a park and one of them was assaulted. That is so funny. That's the only joke I can ever remember to tell. Um, but yes, oh, okay, I see. It's gonna show me, okay, we have one viewer. Uh, which That's is probably, probably Jacob. Probably LaShonda or Jacob. Oh, there's okay. two. Okay, now we're up to two. Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Jaya. This is Dr. Kylie. What is happening? Somebody's calling me and now everything has gone away. Decline. Oh my God. Was I still here during all of that? Could you, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I don't know. Who was calling me? Rude. Okay. So we want to welcome y'all to our second live for the Weed Doctor and Boudreaux's new drugstore in Lake Charlos, as my four-year-old would say, Lake Charlos. Um, and we really wanted to talk about anti-aging and autoimmune issues. Um, first of all, how's your day going, Kylie? Super busy, you know. Super busy, which is good. If you're not super busy, mm -hmm. then means people don't like your product, so that's good. That's right. I am so irritable. So as some of you may know, I'm on a fertility journey road to McBaby number two. And I don't know if I'm pregnant because we literally just did the IUI two days ago, but I am So I don't know if it's the progesterone or the letrozole or I'm just naturally an angry person today, but everything feels like the end of the world. And then the worst part when you're PMSing or hormonal is like men will never understand. And so they are not helpful about it, like at all. <laughs> but I love my husband and I hope I make a baby with him. <sighs> so anyway, even though um, I, initially we were supposed to do this live yesterday, I apologize. I double booked myself. I took a class on introduction to social media training by the amazing Sarah McDaniel with Simply Southern Cottage. And then I booked it for a sixth day, but then I forgot I double booked myself for a dinner as did Kylie. So anyway, sorry that we've had to move the date and time so often. Hopefully if you missed this, this is something you can come back and watch. And um, definitely don't forget to put any questions that you might have in the comments. Um, because we would love to uh, answer them on air. Okay, so um, autoimmune disease. I feel like so prevalent now. And I remember one of the things that Dr. Pamela Smith said at the hormone conference was one of the newest, most prevalent autoimmune diseases is long COVID. Have you yeah. had any experience treating patients with long COVID? I imagine like when we're talking about autoimmune disease, it's basically talking about the body attacking itself. Too much inflammation. And so there's a lot of um, conditions that fall underneath that. Long COVID is the newest one, but of course, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, anything to do with you know thyroiditis like Hashimoto's, um, Jog Sjogren syndrome, which I don't know how to say, but it's spelled S J O G R E N, apostrophe S syndrome. Um, so yeah, first let's just talk about long COVID because I feel like that's a poorly identified yet frequently experienced diagnosis for a lot of people. What have you seen in your community in Lake Charles, and and have you treated anybody with it? Yes, actually, um, I have treated 
my own mother with it. Um, she basically feels tired all the time. Right. Um, it's just like basically just like with the cytokine storms with the people in ICU when COVID was at the peak. The peak, um, right. Long COVID is just like constant inflammation in your body. You feel tired. You feel run down. Um, yeah. And so basically we treat it with the LDN low dose naltrexone capsules. And, yes. Um, zinc and uh, the, I'm sorry, NAC, which is a supplement that we sell and quercetin. Um, these are all very good antioxidants that help kind of scavenge your body and get all the bad stuff out <clears throat> that COVID has kind of turned on and won't turn off. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the protocol right now is the LDN and the NAC and quercetin. So um, let's kind of take one of those like one by one so people can kind of um, understand what it is we're talking about. And so if you have any of the conditions that we mentioned, if you have anything autoimmune going on, you want to explore these options with your doctor or with me or Kylie. If you're anywhere in Louisiana, one or one, the two of us can treat anybody in Louisiana together for the most part. So when we're talking about um, inflammation, and, and guys, don't forget to put your questions in the comments. Hi, Kim Middleton. Good to see you, girl. Um, LDN, low-dose naltrexone. And so I think a lot of people know naltrexone under the name naloxone, which is an opioid reversal agent. So when you hear about people overdosing on Percocet, Norco, um, and they need something to reverse that, you may have heard of naloxone. That's the most frequently used, um, that's the most frequent usage for it, I would say, in standard medicine. But low-dose naltrexone is the same medicine, but in low doses actually works as a healing mechanism for your body. And one of the things I learned through Kylie, through Dr. Pamela Smith, is that it actually heals a leaky gut. Is that right? Yes. And so I would say almost everyone, it would be very rare to find someone that has some kind of chronic inflammation going and does not have a leaky gut as well. Because we know a leaky gut is the source of so much inflammation. We know that gut health is directly tied to brain health. We know that when you heal your gut, you heal your body, right? And so um, low-dose naltrexone can be taken in an oral form as well as a transdermal cream. And so can you kind of talk them through how you start someone on low-dose low naltrexone? Because I think it's uh, confusing to some people. You do start on a very low dose, but you essentially increase it until you see uh, improvement in how you feel. Is that right? Kind of tell us about that. Yeah, so um, it comes in a capsule, um, 0 0.5 milligram capsule. Um, and you would take it once a day, um, every day, and then you're going to go up once a week by one capsule. So you just go up week once a week until you get to your target dose, which is usually between 4.5 milligrams and 16 milligrams, mostly 4.5 milligrams. Um, and people normally know when to stop going up on their capsules when they start feeling like anxious. That's kind of a side effect that you're too high on your dose. Gotcha. Um, yeah. That's when people will kind of step down and then stay at that dose. But I have patients that pick it up every month. And one lady, I like to get feedback on it and ask them how they're doing. And one lady's like, yeah, I ran out and I didn't take it for four days. And she had lupus. And she was like, after four days, I can tell that I'm not on it. Like it just, wow. helps. yeah, it just helps with her inflammation and the topical LDN, which is low dose naltrexone, which I'm going to call LDN from now on, um, just because it's shorter. Um, yeah. the LDN helps topically for conditions like eczema, psoriasis, scars, um, things like this that are also all very autoimmune driven. Um, but topically, that's what it would be good for to directly put onto the lesions or the uh, plaques. Um, and you see a lot of improvement with the placking. That's so exciting. <laughs> so basically, if you have someone with an autoimmune disease, the first thing you want to ask your provider about is starting low-dose naltrexone. You start at 0.5 milligrams every day, every morning and you increase it until you get to a therapeutic dose. And the way you know that you're at a therapeutic dose is you feel better. 
Mm-hmm. And of course, following up with your doctor, hopefully the wee doctor. Um, and, uh, I have a question from the audience, Debbie Bison, will it help ulcerative colitis? Absolutely. So, yes. 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 So that is such a good question. I can't believe I didn't mention that. So one of the most common autoimmune inflammatory diseases, of course, falls under IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. And there's two kinds of that Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And so when you have an autoimmune disease that is attacking your gut, Something like low dose naltrexone that heals the gut, you know, yes, ding, ding, it would definitely help um, and uh, is not used. It's just not used. I mean, I think I, when I was at a previous clinic, the first time I heard about low dose naltrexone being used for weight loss and for cravings and for emotional eating was from you. So um, do you know why or do you have an idea why there might be some resistance to mainstream medicine using low dose naltrexone because a lot of times I'll get a patient, for example, for medical marijuana and autoimmune diseases, you know, everyone's looking for pain relief, fibromyalgia, all of that. And I'll, if they have a rheumatologist or an endocrinologist, I'll say, go back and talk to them and see what they think about low dose naltrexone. But what has been your experience, um, Dr. Kylie, about, you know, why isn't everyone using it? Like to me, it's like such a no brainer. Yeah, it's the same, I think, mentality and concept with the weed things, like how you get such resistance and you're like, this is life changing. This helps people. But people are like, it's drugs. No, bad. I can't take that. That's it's the same with naltrexone. It has a bad rap because when you doctor Google it, it says, you know, opioid overdose, you know, alcohol abuse. But we're not using it at those doses. We're using it at micro dosing. So if you go yes. to the LDN Research Trust website, you can get like a plethora of information on it. And you can even ask your doctor if they're unsure about it to visit the LDN Research Trust site. Um, that website is full of case studies, research projects. Awesome. The, yeah. And so you should put that link somewhere at maybe yes. at the end. So it's called um, LDN Trust Research website. Yeah, let me just get you the exact name. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> I'll definitely come back and include that as a caption for people because, you know, even though Dr. Jay and Dr. Kylie do want to be everyone's care team, we realize that we cannot treat everyone. And so if you're watching this in, you know, freaking Canada, New York, California, go to that website, empower yourself with information, go to your doctor and say, why am I not on this? What are your thoughts? Um, because getting that conversation started could and will be life-changing for people. Um, I have another question from Kim. Is this a safer alternative than biologics? Absolutely. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and not saying, you know, it's just like, it really is. All of this is kind of part and parcel of the same thing. Like, y- y'all know that I do Medical Mary Jane, and I'm very passionate about it. You know we advocate plants before pills. You know that Dr. Kylie and I love bioidentical uh, hormone replacement therapy. And all of this is because it's safe, it's effective, and it's a step that you exhaust before you ever go to something like a biologic or an opioid or something like a methotrexate. Not saying that those medications don't have a place in treatment. We're saying try the safest things first. Yeah. And then if you need the more toxic, potentially toxic medications that need closer monitoring, then sure, go, but let's try all the safest things first. That's what we should all be doing. Um, it's the same as like when you're training for a marathon, you know, if you want to run a marathon, you don't just go out and run three miles straight. You have to, tr- you have to like prepare yourself for it. It's the same with medicine. Like you don't just go to the most highest dose, the highest, most you know, of everything. You can start other things first and try them before going to the big guns, you know? Absolutely. And, and the other thing is you want to support your body to work correctly. Your body wants to work for you. Okay. Your body wants to work for you. So sometimes just a little bit of support can help your body go the rest of the way. If you go straight to the strongest dose of a medication, if you go straight to the strongest medication, you are essentially disabling your body from learning to work for you. You know, Mm -hmm. it's just like if you were Lori Laughlin from Full House and you paid for your kids to get into Stanford, 
you're not allowing your kids to study and prepare and earn their place at Stanford. So ultimately, (laughs) wait, can we talk about Kate Gate? Can you please, can you please share what the word on the street is about Kate I mean, I have heard no other updates besides everything's black in the UK. The, The flags are down. My friend over there is freaking out. They think Kate has been murdered. Everybody's freaking out. Like, I started going down that rabbit hole as a source of entertainment for myself, but now I'm actually worried for her because I think the queen was holding it all together and now everything's going to hell. And Diana's like, I tried to tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all they were crazy. Um, I saw this meme of like uh, William uh, when he was cute and now, (laughs) and it's like the cute, it's like when you act like Diana and then when you act like Charles, like anyway. Oh my God. That's a Straying off topic. Um, okay, let me say hi to our friends who are watching. Hello, Laura Brunson. Hello, Bridget Pullman. Hello, Greg Pitts, Cynthia Norton Robertson, Debbie Bison, Jackie Johnson. Thank you for joining. My favorite NASA ambassador, Crystal Beauchamp, is watching. Yeah, she's a NASA ambassador in addition to like 27 other things that she does. And what she wants to know, listen, I want to have a whole conference with you on Crystal. <laughs> he is a medical enigma wrapped in a riddle. Um, love you, Crystal. You're amazing. I can't wait to figure you out and help you. But she says, uh, so for the ladies that have an undifferentiated autoimmune condition, what's the best treatment when you don't have a specific condition to treat? Does the focus shift to, to just overall wellness? That is such a good question. Do you have to have, let's say you know something autoimmune is going on. You, you, your CRP, which is your C-reactive protein and inflammatory inflammatory marker is elevated. Your ESR is elevated, but it doesn't tell you exactly what condition is causing those abnormal labs. So let's say you know you have something autoimmune going on, but you don't have a specific diagnosis. I would imagine you could still start treatment with LDN because it's not going to hurt you and yeah. see if it gets better, right? Yeah. 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 Um, uh, so, Crystal, I would definitely, if, if it's you or a family member or a loved one, um, let's try it. It's one of the safest medications you can take. It's old. It's well-studied. Now, now, that's not to say there's no side effects. Of course, it's a medicine. It's going to have side effects. But that's why we closely monitor your results and we closely monitor your dose. Um, we have a mutual patient who has an autoimmune disease uh, diagnosed as bullous pemphigoid, which is like blisters on the skin. And I called Kylie and uh, she put him on an LDN, low dose naltrexone cream. Um, and he's had no more blisters pop up since he started using it. Really? Yeah. But I also think I want to get him on the oral formulation as well because, you know, treating it, treating the source of the inflammation it would be great too. Yeah. Um, Okay. So there's two other medications that you mentioned besides the low dose naltrexone. Um, And the Mm -hmm. second one was NAC or NAC, which is Mm -hmm. N-acetylcysteine. Tell us about about, about that and and how you recommend people use it that have an autoimmune condition. Um, Well, it's used for um, basically like it's an antioxidant that is a scavenger So it helps the mitochondria work more effectively also. So if you're having a lot of inflammation, your body's making a lot of like chemical byproducts that are bad. Um, And basically NAC just kind of eats them up. It's an attacker. Um, So it's good for, it's good for breaking up mucus. It's good for like everything really. We use an inhaled form of N-acetylcysteine in the hospitals, like when we have a bad asthma exacerbation or a COPD exacerbation or a bad pneumonia, and it's a mucolytic, it breaks up mucus. Uh, But I hadn't heard about taking it orally, you know, until I got out of traditional medicine. I hadn't heard about any of this until I got out of traditional medicine. So um, what is the dosing on that? And is there anything, um, Crystal Beauchamp says, how do you spell that? Oh, I can tell you, because I'm a spelling bee champion. (laughs) Um, uh, but yeah, tell us about the dosing of that. Well, the, the, uh, easy way to spell it is NAC. Um, yeah. <laughs> and the, oh, most di- the most difficult way to spell it is N dash A C E T Y L acetyl dash L dash 
C-Y-S-T-E-I-N-E. Okay, um, dude, I spelled it right. I put it in the comments. Phew, I was like, uh, when it got to C-Y-S-T, I was like, ooh, I'm actually not sure. And acetylcysteine. So uh, right. I know in the hospital when we're using an acetylcysteine, also known as muco mist in the hospital, uh, mm -hmm. we would use that typically, like, um, let's say we had a patient with kidney disease who had to have a contrast study. We would give that to them because it theoretically protected the kidneys from the harm that the contrast could do. We would put it in breathing treatments, but how do you use it um, for an autoimmune and what's that dosing look like? Uh, 600 milligrams twice a day twice or a day. once okay. a day. Um, it promotes detoxification, scavenging of free radicals. It's, it's a really good uh, supplement to be on. Just it's almost a like a, it's like a cleaning service for the crap you don't want in your body. That's correct. Yeah. Just sweeping mm -hmm. it out. Just sweeping, sweeping it out. out. Is there anybody who should not take NAC or NAC? Um, not that I'm aware of. No. Okay, great. Uh, but we do, I mean, it's actually protective of the kidneys, but of course, anytime we start a medication, we check your lab work every three to six months just to make sure everything's cool. Hi, Maddie. This is my daughter. She's also a cat. Yay. Oh my god, she's the best cat. <laughs> Ari's here too, but I kicked him out. I don't know where he's out there, out there somewhere. Sorry, she just busts in because she's a boss. No, Maddie and I have so much in common. We're gonna go to Paris together. We're gonna wear pink berets in front of the Eiffel Tower, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Who is I love Maddie. Maddie's my spirit animal. <laughs> Said, has it been so long you've forgotten who I am? Here, go talk to your dad while I'm, talk I'm on this. Here, go. Go talk to your daddy. Um, okay. And then uh, the – oh, you're good. The third me medicine that we want to talk about is the uh, – is it quercetin? Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-I-N, right? Quercetin? quercetin? Yeah, I think uh, quercetin. Okay. I don't I have no idea. I've actually never said it out loud before just now. Yeah, it's um, it's also very similar to NAC. Uh, it gets the free radicals, helps uh, repair damaged cell membranes that have, um, and it helps with like, whenever there's cell death. It whenever a cell dies, it releases all the toxins and things inside the cell, and it just kind of like gathers it all. So it's also just like a detoxification for the body too. So do you typically have patients on all three? Um, I mean, you probably, you want to start one at a time. So, you know, where the benefits coming from when you feel better, but. Right. But there's a lot of products that, uh, we actually sell that contain all of these things already in it, like in one. So we have a product called Orthomune and it has quercetin, NAC, vitamin D, zinc. It has all the things in it to help with like long COVID. So you don't have to take a bunch of pills. You just take one. And then you could just add the LDN to that as a prescription. Yeah. That's amazing. What's the name of that product? Ortho immune. Ortho immune. So, um, if you would like to uh, order that supplement, you just contact us at the Wee Doctor, or if you want to contact Kylie directly, you can do that. Um, but I think more importantly, what I really want to get across to people is that you certainly do not have to take our word for it. Um, I would go to your doctor, and if you don't have one willing to do this testing, go to your wee doctor, and I would get your lab checked. I would check your inflammatory markers. I would check your ESR, your CRP. I would check everything, then start the medication and the supplement and check it again in three months. Prove it to yourself. Prove it to yourself in the lab test and prove it to yourself in how you feel, because here's the, here's the thing. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And it doesn't interfere necessarily with a biologic that you may already be on, but it may reduce the need to be on those medications by naturally supporting your body. That's where we want to get. Or reduce um, the Or what? Reduce the dose of the biologic. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, anytime we can reduce something that your body doesn't need that's synthetic or a pharmaceutical with significant side effects, it's a win. I have a goal to get off. Ever, I have a goal to get off. <laughs> I have a goal to get everyone off Ambien. I hate Ambien. I hate yeah. it. I hate it. Uh, Kim, do you take insurance? Unfortunately, I do not take insurance. Um, a lot of the compounded medications are not approved by insurance. 
But if you have a typical medication, uh, you can talk to Kylie at Boudreaux's and they can try to run it through your insurance. But typically with compounded medications and of course supplements, which are over the counter, insurance does not pay for them. And um, I do not accept insurance as a wee doctor because insurance is terrible and a scam and I hate it. We all, uh, and even if I build for a wellness many. visit, you know, I probably never get reimbursed because insurance companies don't want to keep you well. They want to keep you sick. That's right. Also, love your cup. Um, we do take HSN cards. Do you, do you, I mean, mm. HSN, that is a channel to buy. <laughs> Home shopping yeah. network. Yeah, I meant HSA. I'm sorry. It's yes, been we also take HSA and FSA cards. Yeah, absolutely. So if you have a plan like that, you can use that to pay for the visit. If you own a small business, you should join Moxie because I take Moxie bucks all day long, baby. Mm -hmm. Cynthia Robertson says, we doctor is amazing. Thank you, Cynthia. You're always so supportive. I really appreciate that. And Brooke Dubrock is watching. Okay, great. Yay. Hi, everybody. Um, okay. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about, and y'all get in your questions because I think I only have Kylie. What time do you have to leave, girl? 545? Um, probably five minutes. I got to bring Maddie to her extracurriculars okay we have five minutes um oh ashley crump just said i just realized i have an unopened bottle of nac in my medicine cabinet from pure encapsulations yes. recommended by someone i otherwise despise <laughs> it sounds like i need to open it um yes that person who is obviously horrible because who would ever be not nice to you uh, did in fact make a good recommendation and pure encapsulations is a great brand yeah. Uh, and I think Kylie carries pure encapsulations in her pharmacy. So, uh, yeah, open it, girl. Open the bottle if it's not expired. Also, also Dr. J, I have a nice, like, written, typed up document on LVN for people to give to their doctors. So I'll provide you that. So yes. if any of the viewers want to give it to their doctor to be like, look, I found this. Please read it. Please give me this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I, and I can upload that file, I think, to uh, our page and send it. Um, to your page as well. That way people can just download it and, and do it. Um, okay, last thing I wanted to ask, because I know you have to run, um, the combination of LDN and metformin, not only for autoimmune, but also for anti-aging, as Dr. Pamela said at the conference, metformin is the only anti-aging drug that's out there. Even if you're on semaglutide for weight loss for diabetes, even if you uh, are not diabetic, metformin has untold health benefits by improving insulin sensitivity and decreasing insulin resistance. So like is LDN metformin cream, which is made at Boudreaux's, is that something that you kind of recommend for everyone? Or like, who would you recommend the LDN? Cause like, I want it. <laughs> I want um, it. <laughs> Who do you recommend it for? Because as soon as she spoke, I, I was like, anti-aging, LDN metformin. Okay, great. Got it. Well, I would do that mostly for PCOS and um, like insulin uh, patients that are borderline diabetic. But I think the best serum for anti-aging for the face, especially if you have some wrinkles and you want to not use Botox, is methylene blue. Methylene blue, yeah, girl. Methylene blue. What are you holding out on me? What's methylene blue gonna do for my face? We mix it and put it in a cream, and it's also an anti anti aging drug. It also scavenges all the oxidative stresses on your face, which is basically wrinkles, um, and it helps smooth out your skin. It's anti aging. It's great, 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 great. Okay, so takeaways. Uh, you need to send me some of that. <laughs> Can I take it if I'm trying to get pregnant? Um, yeah, I think so. It just goes on your face. It doesn't get absorbed. Yeah, it should be fine, right? So takeaway messages, if you have any kind of chronic inflammation going, if you have any kind of autoimmune, undifferentiated or differentiated, if you have anything to do with a leaky gut, ask your doctor about low-dose naltrexone. Ask your doctor about N-acetylcysteine and quercetin. Um, but aside from the low dose naltrexone is the only one that you need a doctor's prescription for. You can email me or comment here. Um, and actually I can put an order form up. And if anybody wants that combo product that has the N-acetylcysteine, the, um, antioxidants, the quercetin, if they ever wants that product, I'll put a link in the comments on how you can order that and we can get it shipped to you from Kylie.
Yeah. Um, and also let us know what y'all want to talk about next time. Cause I know this is kind of a shorter thing, um, but whatever you want us to cover in the future, we're here for it. Um, you can go on and get out of here. I'll wrap up with people. So I know you got to go, uh, but thank you so much. Let, uh, let people know how they can reach you. Or I guess I can tell, I can tell them. I already know that. Um, yeah, but I'll just say bye. And, um, we're here to help y'all at Boudreaux's new drug store. And like Charles, our phone number is 337-436-7216. You can also text that number. If you don't want to talk to someone on the phone or be on hold, it's 337-436-7216. Um, tell them that you were on the live with Jaya, Dr. Jaya and Dr. Kylie, and we'll give you a 10% discount. Oh, oh my God. That's amazing. I didn't know you were going to do that. That's, that's so nice. Yeah. That's oh, I did have one question that, um, that combo product, uh, does that have ashwagandha in it by any chance? No. Do you know? Okay. Cause I, I had recommended new adapt to crystal, but she can't take ashwagandha because she's a medical enigma wrapped in a riddle. Uh, so I literally want me, you and her to get on a zoom one time and figure her out. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're amazing. Crystal. <laughs> and that's not a violation of HIPAA. Crystal is not my patient at all. Okay. This is stuff. I was about to say, you're like spilling everybody's tea uh, on here. I know. I was going to say, that's not a violation. That's just like, we talk as friends socially, Pl <laughs> please. Crystal, please. She said, I'm here for it. Okay, thank y'all. I don't normally reveal information if people are my patients. She's just my friend. <laughs> Sonia Haggard said she needs the face cream. We do also have that face cream for people with PCOS when you get that beard distribution. Um, and that's something I can order uh, from Kylie. You just put it on a clean face morning and night. And how quickly can they expect to kind of see improvement in the, um, you know, that brittleness of that hair growth around this area? I would say two weeks. That's awesome for people who have been suffering that lifelong to get relief in two weeks. What? Mm -hmm. I even have um, studies in the muggling blue. I need to put, I need to get a little package together tonight on what I need to send you so you can attach to this. Yes. The LPN paper, the methylene blue studies, all the things. All okay, the I'm things. And like, okay, okay, bye. I love you. Bye. I'll see you later. Um, so uh, do y'all have any other questions that you want to, uh, ask, uh, for me? Um, so what I'll do is kind of put a recap post and, um, or maybe I'll get, uh, I know what I'll do. I will make a Google form. Okay. Or I'll get my social media manager, Jessica, to make a Google form. And on it, we will list everything that we talked about today. Um, the combination supplements, the anti-aging cream, the PCOS hair cream, and certainly the low dose naltrexone. Now, if it's something that's over the counter, um, we can just go ahead and order it for you and we can ship anywhere in the US. So if you have a friend in another state, if it's not a prescription, we can ship nationwide. Um, Kylie and her team do that beautifully. But if it's something that needs a prescription like a low dose naltrexone then, or metformin, then, um, you either need to talk to your primary care provider about it. And by the way, any doctor with prescribing privileges in Louisiana can send in a prescription to Boudreaux's new drug in Lake Charles. But if you don't have a doctor or your doctor is for some reason not willing to do that, you can come see me. Okay. Cause I can prescribe for anybody in Louisiana um, with regards to this autoimmune anti-aging natural relief for chronic inflammation. Um, okay, so let me see if I have any other questions. Oh, Brooke Dubrock, how do I use this metformin Zella Acid Magic Hair Cream? Okay, well, Brooke, thank you for being so transparent in the comments. So Brooke uh, just got the um, amazing face cream. And so basically what you're going to do is wash your face in the mornings, wait till it's dry. You're going to pat the hair cream just in the areas of like where you no longer want hair to grow. Then you're going to let that absorb. Then you can follow with anything like SPF, moisturizers, makeup. But you want it to absorb completely and feel relatively dry. Then you do the same thing at night. Wash your face. Wait for it to dry. Pat the hair cream on. It really does not take a lot. You just take just a little bit, rub it between your fingers, and just pat it. Um, and then put on any night creams that you might want to do. Um, I personally would probably not uh, use a retinol product or anything like that, at least for the first couple weeks while your skin is getting used to it, because you really want to see how it's going to affect um, the lower half of your face 
with just one medical product. So try not to mix and match medical products because then it's really hard to know where you got the improvement from and what product was actually the most helpful. Um, hopefully that makes sense, Brooke. Savannah the Ring is watching. What's up, Savannah Banana? How's it going? Um, okay, so I, I really hope that this was uh, helpful for y'all. I think, you know, the reason that Kylie and I wanted to uh, do this is because when we went to this conference, it was like, everybody should know this. Everybody should know this. And, and one of the things that I was just so impressed with at the PCCA conference, which is the Pharmacy Compounding Centers of America, um, is that there were no pharmaceutical companies there. And what that means is they were, there were no pharmaceutical funded studies. There was no pharmaceutical company funded studies. So there was no bias, just results. And instead of saying, oh, if you want this information, or if you want to share this information, you need to pay us the fee. They said, take a picture, take a picture of this PCOS hair cream formulation to help people with PCOS and excess hair growth. Take a picture, go make it. You don't know us a thing. We just want people to have the information. And that to me is how medicine should be practiced. It shouldn't be about proprietary and insurance companies. And I'll cover this if you do this. It should be about, I'm a doctor. I have medical knowledge. She's a pharmacist. She knows how to make things. Everyone treat themselves to knowledge, empower themselves with information, and help others. That's how medicine should be. Who knew I was going to get on my soapbox tonight? Um, okay, let me just see if there's any other questions. Um, okay, it looks like that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining. I would like to apologize one more time that um, I, we ended up moving this a couple of times. But uh, like I said, this information is so crucial. And if you didn't get to join that our, join our live, hopefully you can come and catch it later. Um, so if you need anything, you can call me at the Wee Doctor. 318-777-6843. Uh, you can also email us at info at the weedoctor.com. That's I-N-F-O at T-H-E-O-U-I-D-O-C-T-O-R.com. And uh, Kylie is at Boudreaux's New Drug Store in Lake Charles. You can visit their website at boudreaux'snewdrugstore.com or call or text her at the number that she gave you earlier. I'll try to put all this in comments too. So um, thanks for watching. Thank you, Crystal, for letting me like, you know, talk about you for half of the uh, conference. Everybody go follow NASA Ambassador Crystal Balchon. Balchon, Balchon. Um, thank you, Nicole. Hi, good to see you. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you everyone for watching. And uh, don't forget on Tuesday, March 26th at 6 p.m., I am going live with the pharmacists from Delta Medmar Pharmacy in Monroe, and we're going to talk about my favorite plants. Okay, have a great night, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.